Hey folks, hey Brad Miller with you today. You know, it's getting to be that time of, sea of the year where we're starting to wonder a little bit about uh, what to get people for Christmas, whether you're kind of looking for yourself really, or whether you're looking for somebody else. Um, I got some ideas for you I want you to consider here on flybass.biz. Now first of all, let's start with some prices. Um, Take a look at that peak right there. That's the most popular vice that we sell. And I think the reason is is because it's 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 pretty reasonably priced. But the, my favorite thing about this peak, one of them, is this huge base it's got. It's quite heavy. And it's almost impossible to get that thing rocking um, once you um, what you when you're torquing on it. And that's really important, especially for a pedestal uh, base type uh Vice, but it's it's uh, they're pretty pretty simple to use. Uh, it's got a couple different uh, jaws on them, like most of them do. And you can also get this with the what's called the tire station, which has got every possible accessory known to mankind in one great big package for that um, fly tire that really wants to upgrade and really wants to have uh, a little bit of everything, uh, regardless of what kind of flies they're going to tie. So the, um, the peak and the fly tire station, you can get it by itself here, or you can get it with a bunch of accessories. It's a pretty neat package. Um, if you were going to get just one vice and you wanted simplicity and elegance, um, I would really opt for the HMH vice. I don't think there's a finer machined vice on the market than the HMH. And the thing I like about it the most is it's so simple. Uh, there's just a couple of little nuts here to, to uh, where you set the aperture on your jaws. And then you can just uh, work this back one here to get your cam set right. And it's just it's just simple to use and and very nice. We sell the Spartan and then the standard model, which is a little bit more expensive, but uh, a very very nice elegant vice. Um, those are both rotating vices, by the way. I've got this um, a peak. Excuse me. This is a Griffin Patriot, and this is uh, one of the top of the line vices for. Uh, non-rotating vice for a griffin and the thing that's kind of unique about this baby is that the way this this cam operated uh, jaws mechanism it's really handy and really nice for popping flies on and off it does rotate somewhat you can move it up and down like that it doesn't actually rotate like a typical rotator but um, I use a lot for closers and stuff like that where I don't need to rotate the fly so uh, really a nice heavy-duty uh, Vice, it's very uh, uh, economically priced, and uh, considering those different types of vices, let's talk about flies for a minute. Um, you know, we we would be remiss if we didn't mention uh, uh, the best-selling items on FlyPass.com, which is popper bodies, and um, uh, we've got those available. You can get them in bulk. You can get them as assortments for somebody if you're not sure what colors they want and so forth. But fantastic flies. We've caught so many bass on these blockhead poppers. Um, they, they're just the best. Um, the big uh, breakthrough this summer was uh, using hopper patterns, foam hopper patterns of various types for uh, largemouth and especially smallmouth bass. There were several days this summer where we had difficulty uh, catching the fish with a traditional popper. And a lot of times what happens then is you're going to go underwater and you're going to start throwing streamers. Well, you don't have to. Um, before you start throwing streamers, try a dead drifted or just slightly twitched hopper pattern in the summertime. And these, these hold up all the way through September in most places. Uh, and we caught some big fish and a lot of fish on these hoppers when they would not take a popper. Uh, we had a lot of fun. You probably saw some of the videos. If not, take a look around a little bit. We've got some quite a, quite a bit of action video on catching uh, big smallmouth on nice hopper patterns. And this happens to be the uh, big trout bass, fly bass uh, collection that you can pick up. And there's all other uh, kinds of assortments of flies that you can pick up on fly bass as well for whatever type of fish you're interested in. Anywhere from salt water to pike uh, to steelhead salmon all the way to, of course, bass. Let's talk about some fly reels too for a second. We've got some very inexpensively priced machined fly reels. Now the machines, machine uh, fly reel versus the cast fly reel. The cast fly reels are typically less expensive. Um, the machines, machine reels like this one typically cost quite a bit more, but this is a very economically priced reel uh, uh, for this. This is from Cortland and this is called the Sterling model from Cortland. And this is about the nicest, lightest 
inexpensive reel that I have. Uh, this happens to be a fairly large one that you'd use probably with a 9 or a 10 uh, weight outfit, maybe even 11. Um, I like to undersize a little bit. Um, some people would disagree agree with me, but if I'm going to um, be fishing uh, most freshwater uh, species, um, I like to go to a, like a 5-6 size reel, even if I'm on a 7 or 8 weight rod, uh, because Bottom line is, you just don't need all that line. You really don't. Uh, with the possible exception of steelhead uh, and maybe salmon, but in many cases you can have enough backing on here so that if that fish takes out all the backing, it'll, it's going to be a rarity. Um, uh, I'd use something like this if I was going to be doing a lot of saltwater fishing and I wanted a reel that would handle both ways. Uh, then you want to go to a little bit bigger reel, especially if you're going after bonefish and, and maybe tarpon or something like that. So, um, lots of fun there. Uh, we've got a, we've got a couple of, we field tested extensively these precision lines from Cortland this summer. Um, this redfish line, uh, which is really more of a tropical line, uh, we used, and a lot of other fishermen in the Midwest have been using this redfish line for their smallmouth and largemouth bass fishing. Um, it's got kind of a abrupt head to it, but it throws well, but it's especially good in the warm, hot weather of summer. Um, as If you're going to be fishing in the spring or in the fall when the weather's cooler, um, my favorite line is this uh, precision bass line from Cortland. It's very supple, and if I was going to use one line all year round in all different types of, types of circumstances, it would be this one. It, uh, it, just, it just stays more supple, it does not stiffen up at all. It comes with uh, uh, loops on either end and makes it easy for you to pop onto your uh, your backing. So um, just some ideas as far as that's concerned and before we leave you I also want to talk a little bit about rods and reels. Um, I've got a, a pretty well used uh, Great Bay here that I've, I've got now two seasons under my belt with this. This happens to be an 8 weight Evolution uh, that we sell and it has been uh, just a fantastic rod and uh, we've caught a lot of fish on it. I've thrown some uh, sages and some uh, lumises, several different types of rods against it and it's performed very, very well. It's a lot less expensive than buying a new sage, I can guarantee you that. Um, also, if you don't know what you want, um, we've got a we've got a outfit, total outfit from Cortland and you can get uh, a nice rod, a real line, uh, backing, tapered leader and uh, some uh, flies even in this particular outfit. So if you're looking for something for, for somebody that's got everything they need to get started, um, this would be the way to go. And this is called the uh, uh, Fly Rod Outfit from Cortland. So think about these things as you're considering um, gift giving this holiday. And if you're not sure really what you want to get, you can get a gift certificate for somebody on flybass.biz and they can make up their own mind as far as what they want to get. Uh, so thank you so much for stopping by. I hope these give you some ideas for the holidays coming up and I hope you have a great holiday season. Thank you.